Hello everybody, it is DD193 and I am Coach Shane. Welcome back. DD193 is a little bit difficult because of background music, but the story is inspirational. The story is fantastic and I want you to go down below and watch the video. There's not much speaking. They wrote many sentences so you can read it and the story is inspirational. If you think your life is tough, which it is, my life is tough too, but the man in this video really had a tough life and he overcame. Watch the video, great video. Do the dictation, but before we go, before, wait, 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 before we go to DD-193, we need to go back to DD-192, which was also very funny. You guys did a great job, but the last sentence, nobody got the last sentence right. And when nobody gets the last sentence right, I'm happy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sad. Oh, man, nobody got it. Oh, but I'll teach you. Don't worry. Let's listen again. Today we salute you, Mr. Giant Taco Salad Inventor. Ground beef, refried beans, guacamole, cheese, sour cream, and if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. I don't see no lettuce. And the answers. Today we salute you, Mr. Giant Taco Salad Inventor. Ground beef, refried beans, guacamole, cheese, sour cream, and, if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. I'll see no lettuce. Nobody. Very difficult. Today, today, we say it short. Today, today, today. And you have to say it in a manly voice. Today, today. So it's a t. Too, not too common, t. Today we salute you. To salute somebody means this. So military men, we salute, in America, we salute like this. I know some countries salute like this. Uh, how, how does your military Salute. Today we salute you. So, to salute somebody means to show respect. Today we are showing respect to you. You, who's you? We salute you. Who, who? Mr. Giant Taco Salad Inventor. Giant, really huge Taco Salad Inventor. So, the person who invented the giant taco salad, today, we salute you. Good job. We respect you. We love you. Thank you for the giant taco salad. What is the giant taco salad? The giant taco salad? Ground beef. Ground beef, which is hamburger. It's beef and they... Here's a picture of ground beef beef. Ground beef. Evidently, in the UK, they say minced beef. Thanks, Vicodin, for that. But in America, we say ground beef. Say it low. Ground beef. Refried beans. Now, this has always confused me. Refried beans, so that means they take beans, they fry them, and then they refry them? Are they fried twice? I don't know. But if you go to a store in America, they sell cans of refried beans. And here's a picture. Refried beans. Mmm. Very necessary for Mexican food. Yeah, delicious. Guacamole. Guacamole. This is guacamole. Guacamole is made from the avocado plant. Here is an avocado. 
really delicious, very mild tasting, but very good, and very healthy. Cheese. Everybody knows what cheese is. Sour cream. Oh, yes. Sour cream. You guys know what sour cream is, I hope. And if there's any room left, if there's any space left. Now, ground beef, refried beans, beans, guacamole, cheese, sour cream, that's a lot of stuff. There's a lot inside the taco salad. But if there's any space, if there's any room left, so instead of left, we can say remaining. If there is any space remaining, then we will add one, two, three, four, five, number six, a few shreds of lettuce. So what is a shred? Well, usually we can take a tissue. And I have a tissue prepared. And this is a tissue. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And, and this is a shred, another shred, and now I have, I have a, a few shreds, a few shreds, a few shreds of lettuce. This is lettuce. Okay, so you take some lettuce and you, you rip it and a few shreds of lettuce. Do you understand? That's it. So our main picture this is pretty much exactly what they describe here. A few shreds of lettuce. Now, this is actually really funny because in America, and maybe where you are too, when we say salad, we think of this. This is a salad. So lots of lettuce and other vegetables, but the main ingredient is lettuce. And then when you look at a taco salad, there's no lettuce. It's not really a salad. But we use the word salad, and when people say salad, they think healthy food, very healthy food. However, Ground beef, refried beans, beans <clears throat> guacamole, cheese, sour cream. Is that really healthy? No. 12,000 calories in a giant taco salad. 12,000 calories? Really? Maybe. So the last line was, I don't see no lettuce. They did it in a song. The lady said, I don't see no lettuce. I don't see no lettuce. What? I don't see no lettuce. Grammatically, you will want to say, I don't see any lettuce. Okay? Now, I do have a video on Coach Shane's ESL talking about not and no. Okay? So this is a good video. So I don't see any lettuce is proper English. But daily English, every day between friends, we do say, I don't see no lettuce, okay? Pronunciation. Now, the N can cancel the T. So, I don't see, I don't see, there's no T. And many times, well, not many times, sometimes we cancel the D also. There's no real reason. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. Proper English, I don't know why. But real slang style English, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people will say, I don't know. I don't know. How old is Shane? I don't know. Where is Shane from? I don't know. Why is Shane old and still single? I don't know. That's right. I don't know. We can cancel the D, and that's what happens in the song. I don't see no lettuce. I don't see no lettuce. It sounds good. I don't see no lettuce. And that's it. It's too easy. Let's say it together. Are you ready? At the top. One, two, three. 
Today we salute you, Mr. Giant Taco Salad Inventor. Ground beef, refried beans, guacamole, cheese, sour cream, and, if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. I don't see no lettuce. <clears throat> Pronunciation not too bad. Ground beef. The, D's the D is weak. Ground beef. Ground beef. Ground beef. We can cancel the D because of the N. Refried beans. Refried beans. It's there. It's weak, but it's there. Guacamole. I believe this is a Spanish word or maybe Mexican Spanish word. Guacamole. 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 It's not an English word, but we say it in English. Cheese. It's a Z sound. These sounds go together. Cheese, sour cream, cheese, sour cream, sour cream, sour cream. And if there's, and if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. Got it? Listen two more times. Today we salute you, Mr. Giant Taco Salad Inventor. Ground beef, refried beans, guacamole, cheese, sour cream, and if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. I don't see no lettuce. Today we salute you, Mr. Giant Taco Salad Inventor. Ground beef, refried beans, guacamole, cheese, sour cream, and if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. I don't see no lettuce. If you have not seen the full commercial, please, down below, click and enjoy the commercial. It's really funny. It's, uh, I thought it was funny. Also, today, DD-193, is it DD-193? I have to double check. 192 or 193? Yes, DD-193. Such a great inspirational story. Now, I made it uh, advanced level because it's a little bit difficult to hear with the background music. Uh, the words, what he says, is really simple, but the music makes it difficult. For a native English speaker, it's not difficult. It's easy to hear, okay? Uh, but I think for a lot of ESL students, it will be difficult because of the music. It's good practice. If you have an American friend, maybe you will go to a, a nightclub together where there's music and you'll be talking, so it's good to practice with background noise, okay? Anyway, the story is amazing. I'm not going to tell you anything. I want you to, to click on the video below after dictation or before and watch it. Great inspiration. Great story. Uh, and that's it. Good luck on the dictation. Thank you to everybody who joined Daily Dictation. Keep telling your friends about it. Let's make it bigger and better. Share my videos on Twitter and Facebook and whatever it is you have, vk.com and um, whatever. I really appreciate it. And uh, follow me on Twitter. That's right. Get a picture of the board and uh, there's the hello messaging. So there's lots of stuff happening. And uh, I will see you guys on Thursday. That's Thursday, South Korea time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I've lost much weight that if I don't hold these up, they'll fall. And I'm not going to do that right now. But uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. And I just want to share this with everybody. Thanks a lot. I've lost so much weight that if I don't hold these up, they'll fall. And I'm not going to do that right now. But uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. And I just want to share this with everybody. Thanks a lot. up no fall and I'm not gonna do that right now but uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with this 
And I just want to share this with everybody. Thanks a lot. I'm really pleased with this, and I just want to share this with everybody. Thanks a lot.